already. New version here with sound. Let's check it out. It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. I googled that bug. It's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. All right. I think this definitely works a lot better. The beginning is a lot clearer. Not that it was like <laughs> not clear, but the way you go back and forth, I think works really well. I like that he is now adjusting his look, but the thing is, it's a bit low. I think if I be picky, I would bring down that eye line just a bit more, and especially she's still there, but then he's looking kind of at the forehead, still kind of foreheady. Now it's okay. So I would just adjust that still a little bit more. Even here, feels like he's a bit high. That bug, it's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks. It's not too bad through here. I mean, he's not quite looking at her anyway. Even that is a bit high, to be honest. I don't kind of picky, but he has, you know, his eyes are so wide. It's such a big focus point that I would really make sure that it's just a bit lower. And then from a technical point of view, it. Watch out on her. It's not too bad, but it's it goes down a bit one way, but it's mostly going up one. It's mostly an uh, one axis up and down. I think you can be a bit broader with a little arc. It looks. It. And it stops a bit harshly. I think you can go eh, eh, like a little bit of a. It change in there so it's not just this almost feels like it translate forward it looks like a bug yeah. it looks like and then even here on looks it just gets very isolated in the jaw and watch out i think that we're pinching these corners a bit the shapes are a bit a bit wonky there I see some pinching and i think on it, on this i would bring down the head as well Let's imagine the jaw is pulling down the head it doesn't have to be massive just a bit of keep alive in there so it doesn't feel so isolated and then you can go back up the way you have it here. But again, keep going and then overshooting back so that you don't have this here. So it's very isolated again. Nothing else is moving for quite some time. And Bug yeah. trapped under a glass. Then it gets a bit better there. Here it gets a bit stiff where chest, neck, and head are moving mostly as one. I see a broader rotation on the head. But once you get up here, again, it gets very stiff where all that stuff feels it's just a bit too parented together. And then spacing wise, if you track that nose, let's go back here, hold on, it's one in skinning. I feel like if I am trying to stay where that nose tip is, whoa, and then down here, uh, it feels kind of locked in there, whoa, and then over there, wherever that nose is, I'm kind of retaining here, and then you're kind of stuck there, oh, let me know where you mean. So you can see what's going on there. It starts okay, but a bit of a dip there, and then shoo, that one's harsh, that's a very, linear change through there and then you got that that odd away from us and then to the left so i googled that but some of that stuff needs some smoothing out i feel like you worked a lot more on this so that's I, I get it that this is rougher just pointing it out and then the other part demonic cricket it's a bit tricky because it's that is in you know subjective land basically it takes chunks out of this still feels a bit soft in terms of chunks there's an offset yes chunks not massive though but there's something about or maybe you want him to be kind of softer in this chunks but i feel like this could be that takes chunks instead of a kind of a down wavy it's almost like imagine he's now bringing his finger forward and kind of clawing like a more of a claw gesture chunks out of your skin when provoked Chunk and then that one i'm these are the two, like, even this, it's kind of, okay, that's like, yeah, a little thing, but... And when provoked. Chunks is the word that... That is a bit odd, because I've, I see chunks. And at first, it feels like a bit more of a generic unfolding of an arm into this. It's just a, a fairly generic gesture. And then it goes into a bit of a drag, and now you have something a bit more specific. But, whoa, then we have this here that draws attention. So I'm looking here, I'm looking here. Is the word that Google used. And then even though it's kind of like in, within the same pose, kind of like a, just a bit more than a sub pose, but I'm not sure about- Word that Google used. I'm just not sure about this. We're staying in that bit of a generic pose, but then we have- the Word that Google used. We have that. I'm just not sure what that should mean in terms of acting. That's very like a vague critique, but 
it's basically not my thing. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? It's very subjective. Chunks is the word that Google used. I'm just not sure. It, it's, it just seems like, what is he trying to say? It's more like, hey, I'm explaining this to you. It could work if you just keep this here. Imagine still in the fist and it's all mostly in here. And then we have a broader thing with two arms. Like maybe that would even fix it. Oh, sorry. Uh, this in terms of a silhouette, I was a bit wonky. I would then maybe try to bring that in and out a bit more. So we are into, you know, a, a broader hand out gesture here. It still would be enough, you know, in terms of asymmetry. Oh, chunks. But I think what would help is if you are, if you would tell me just in, like in written words, what you're trying to accomplish with this and this. And then that at the end, like what, what are your thought processes and what, how he is feeling and what, how that translates into this gesture acting. I'm just curious before I go into more like, well, I think it should be like this, which it doesn't really matter what I think. I mean, this is your, it's your shot. I, I can give you comments on technical things, but I don't want to shoehorn some acting choices in there that you don't agree with. But I, I would like to know more about what you're thinking at that point here. Uh, and your email. I can probably, you're asking here, I was wondering what you thought about play blast versus rendered shots in reels. I'm more of a play blast, play blast person versus renders, unless the animation is 110% awesome. I say it is and I love to render my own stuff and it's definitely not 110%, but that's more like I want to learn about renders. But once you put it on your reel, the, the danger is that if you have something that's lit and it's really well lit, but if it's not well lit and like it kind of distracts from the animation, right? Because it's a badly lit shot. But if you give it to someone or you're really good at lighting, the danger is that if something isn't working in your animation, but you have all the beautiful lighting, it feels like, oh, are you trying to distract from your animation by making it prettier? And then the thought is, why didn't you spend that time animating it more instead of lighting and rendering it? That's kind of the pitfall um that you're getting into and the other question here you're wondering what kind of background would be important to add from a context it's a good question it looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass i googled that bug it's some sort of i mean this could be just you know i mean there could be brothers and sisters they could be partners like whatever it is this could just be in a room it could be in a lab i mean it could also be in a restaurant i don't know i think i'm not sure if you need a specific context thing. I would just make this a bit of a dirty glass so we don't see the bug or you want to animate a little bug in there, but then that could be distracting as well. It could just be like a paper cup. Well, then she couldn't see inside, I guess. So maybe something, maybe at the beginning, a bug and it falls down. I don't know. I feel like you're opening up a can of worms, um, you know, unless this is not transparent. And no, I was going to think then you see some little, little legs come out and go back in, but then it wouldn't be trapped. So I don't know. I don't think the background is massively needed in terms of a, a major thought process. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I think I'm just very curious about your ending. The rest works really well. It's just cleanup, arcs and eye lines. This, I just feel like I'm not super smitten by it. But again, that's very subjective and I want to hear more about your thoughts and then we can, we can figure something out there. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.